How's it going everybody, Michael here. So today I'm gonna go over tips to beat the leak code grind. I'm sure many of you have heard that term before. It is the grind of solving hundreds of leak code problems in order to get a software engineering job. Doing all of these problems can definitely feel numbing because there's really no telling what a company can ask. They can ask so many different types of topics and you have to prepare for all of them. I know the struggle and that is why I'm gonna go over five tips to beat the leak code grind. So tip number one is to stick to learning a single topic each week. This is by far my favorite tip and why I made it tip number one because this is what gave me the extra push to learn topics in depth. For example, one week I'll go over DP problems, the next week graph problems, another week tree problems, and so on. And by the end of each week, you will have likely seen a large subset of the topic set of problems. Doing a bunch of random problems each week will make you less likely to remember the methods of solving certain topic problems, if there are gaps of a couple days or more. Obviously, this does depend on your interviewing timeline, so you can change that one week interval to any amount that works for you. Tip number two is to stick to a schedule and be consistent. Give yourself a set amount of time every single day to solve leak code problems and try not to skip a single day because the more consistent you are, the better you're going to retain the knowledge. It's much better to do an hour to two hours a day every single day rather than put in eight hours on a single day. If you stress that algorithm muscle too hard in one day, you will start having diminishing returns. Easy problems will become medium, medium problems will become hard, and hard problems will become really hard. So it's better to set, say, one hour a day for a longer period of time rather than eight hours a day for a shorter period of time. Once again, you need to play around your interviewing timeline. So if you're interviewing in a week or a month or two months, play around with the amount of hours that you're willing to put in. Tip number three is to focus only on your weakest topics. It doesn't make much sense to go over topics that you've had a lot of practice in. Since interviews can be a wide variety of questions, you want to make sure that you're very well-rounded on all of the topics. I would shoot for being at least a four out of five in all topics as the sweet spot where four out of five means you can solve most mediums and some hards. The simplest way to do this is to sort by the topic and start solving the most popular problems for the company you are interviewing for. So if my weakest topics are graph problems and I'm interviewing at Google, then I'm going to filter for those options, sort by the frequency and maybe do the first 10 problems on that list. Tip number four is to always give yourself a time limit when you are solving leak code problems. In a real interview, you will always be under a time crunch, so it's best to prepare for that setting. For easy problems, I would give yourself a 20 minute maximum. For mediums, 45 minutes. For hards, one hour max. And if you are struggling with the problem, it is definitely okay to peek at the discussion forums, categories, or written articles for some hints. Keep in mind in a real interview, Hints are normal and you can prepare the same way while studying. If you can't solve the problem in the allotted time with hints, that is when you should look at the answers in the discussion forums and learn the problem in depth. But definitely be strict with the time limit because if you spend too much time on one problem, you're just going to be wasting time when you could just be learning the solution. In my opinion, the discussion forums are the best place to learn if you don't know how to solve a certain problem. There are a lot of smart people and they always post their solutions and explain in depth how they were able to solve it. My last and final tip, tip number five, is to find a friend to study with. This really goes without saying, Studying with a friend is always better than doing it alone. You can give mock interviews to one another where one person knows the problem ahead of time. Your friend can give you hints if you're struggling to mimic a real interview. And then obviously you guys can switch to make it fair. Also, you can both just solve problems together in topics you both are weak at. Being able to bounce ideas off one another will lead to learning the optimal solution faster because two brains is usually better than one. If you don't have someone to do these leak code problems with, that's okay. There are other websites like Pramp, for example. I know you can do mock interviews with random strangers. So that could be really useful to kind of get over the nerves of doing an interview. I hope these tips will help you in your study preparation. 
Leak code is definitely a grind, but consistency is definitely key here. And the longer you are consistent, these topics will start sticking. So if you like my type of content, definitely consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel. And also check out my Patreon if you want to join the private Discord channel. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.